Let's try to understand this gradient tool in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to click on this tool here and if you right click uh, the tool you'll see some options. The paint bucket tool is pretty easy to understand. You just choose your foreground color and whatever the color is it fills it in. Now what about this gradient tool? If you right click, click on gradient tool, if you just click and drag it out it makes a gradient from one color to another. There's a little drop down box here and notice how there's some options. If you choose the first box, the first box always happens to be your foreground to your background color. My current foreground color is light blue to white, so that's why we have this gradient. Just double click it. So now when you drag it, you get a kind of a blending between one color to another. By default, you should probably be on this linear gradient, this option here, so it's going to look like this. Notice how if you drag the line very shortly, it's a short transition. Notice how if you drag it diagonally, it goes diagonal. Notice how if you drag it longer, it's a more gradual gradation. This is a beautiful gradient tool. You can see there's some nice built-in ones here. There's a nice yellow to orange one here. Double click. Click and drag. A very interesting effect. And you can choose some other options here. This is another popular one called radial gradient. You can drag it large. You can drag it very small. You can drag it very large. And you can even reverse it. There's a reverse option here. So instead of going from orange to yellow, we actually get uh, the opposite. So instead of it going from orange to yellow, if you reverse it and then drag it very large again, it goes the opposite. You might have to delete it, so clean it out and then do it and you'll see it better. There's orange to yellow. This one's a bit hard to see just because it's going from orange to yellow, but generally we do reverse it. Okay, so let's uh, try a different color here. Let's try the this one here. This is probably more clear. So I chose the foreground to background gradient. If you click and drag it, notice how it's going from blue to white, whereas if you reverse it, it's going to go from white to blue. That's the idea. Now how do you actually customize this gradient? Click in the middle here, not the drop down box, but rather in the middle of this uh, white to blue bar. Whenever you see this gradient editor pop up, you can actually customize the colors. So here you can actually double click on the bottom square here. And you can choose any color you wish. If I were to choose green. And then here you can choose the end color. So if I double click this, if I choose black, you can see we have a gradient from green to black. You can even click on this little diamond here, the color midpoint, and shift it towards the right or to the left. You can see this has an effect. So in this case, the location is at 75%, and it means that there's more green, and then it quickly ramps up to black. Click on OK. So essentially, I created my own custom gradient. So now when I actually drag it, you can see that it's, for the most part, green. Let's reverse it. Unclick on Reverse. And now when I drag from the center to the corner, we get, for the most part, green. I can start clicking from here, make, drag it that way, or drag it very long. You can see that we can come up with a very beautiful gradient effects. So let's click back in the middle of the color here. You can even add more colors. If I click in the middle here, you can drag a new color in. So if I were to actually choose the color, double click this, if I choose the color red for example, and you can even play with uh, the locations here this way, click on the actual bottom part and you can just click on the uh, location here, you can drag things around and have lots of fun here, click on OK. So I have a three color gradient here now, if you uh, click and drag it, you can see there's one, two, three colors. You can reverse it, and you can see that it actually starts black in the middle. Black, red, then green. So to finish off here, just keep in mind that we know how to create some custom gradients. However, uh, the custom gradients can also be applied to shapes. So for example, if we had a nice uh, right click, a rounded rectangle shape, 
and you want to add a nice gradient to this shape, you just double click into the uh, layer style, click on the gradient overlay, and once again you can hit the drop down box and choose your foreground to background gradient. You can choose the second option which is foreground to transparent, very very useful technique. Or you can even try to customize your own by clicking in the middle there and uh, creating our own custom gradient. Let me double click the middle here, change it to some funky color here, dark green. Uh, that looks pretty ugly but just for the purpose of understanding. And notice how if you actually click on uh, the name, I'm going to call it funky, and then click on the button new, it actually adds it up here to the preset. So click on OK and OK. So we successfully applied a gradient to a shape and if ever in the future, say for example you're to create an actual background layer here, click, it, click on it, drag it down, I'll, call, I'll double click here and call this background. If you were to actually use the gradient tool here and if you hit the drop down box, notice how because we actually created new, a new one, click on it or double click it, we have our own funky gradient. Now I'll make this a nice uh, radial gradient. And if I click here and drag it out, you should have a nice funky background. Let's make it a bit bigger. So congratulations, hopefully you understand gradients a bit better now.